making sure you don't mess up on anything and then when you do mess up on something you're kind of like oh my god i feel like this is the end of the world i'm over this mm -hmm. or if the event is over at two or three o'clock at night you don't stop you know i mean you don't get to go to bed until about four or five o'clock that's like i'm done i'm i don't do this anymore mm -hmm. i give it so up the workload in a sense. yeah the workload other than that you know what i'm saying like if we can get over the fact of you know knowing that it takes a whole lot of time then we would definitely be okay how about you miss anything so yeah uh learning curve or setbacks or hindrance or anything um Those i blocks. feel like i'm still learning even like to this day of course every single day um basically what hers was is like um for me it's not enough time in a day i need about Double Probably it. 124 Double hours. It. <laughs> Seriously, it's Shoot, not enough. Because especially with the amount of things that I want to take on, the amount of things that I want to do is, is just not enough. And then um, I just think um, one thing that hinders like a lot of people is the self-love and energy they're supposed to give themselves. Like mm -hmm. I think we forget that. We put a lot of things into our projects and I will like stay up for days, like not eat, go hard because I'm like, I got to get this done, I got to do this. And then by the end of the week, I'm just depressed and I'm pissed at everybody. Like, mm. SMD, da 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 da. Like, I'm going off. So I feel like just self love, like, is something I'm learning, like, along the way is to treat myself. Like, I'll go to, to the movies or I'll relax or I'll have some mint tea or, like, my assistant's right over there. She can vouch for it. We go get some hookah, something just different for the day. So I'm not too overwhelmed with everything. So those are the two learning curves that I'm, you know, working around right now. But, that's pretty much it and just actually staying focused on me and what I'm doing over here because like I can look at people over there and I'm like how in the hell yeah why am yeah. I not and it's just like and I can see especially in your field because it's dealing with PR and constantly kind of like looking at the landscape of things and seeing Seriously. other people so yeah I see and you that. connect with these people or you see like are you come up with these people right. you work certain festivals with these people and you just turn around and you're just like what the what did I do wrong so it's just like you gotta wear, that's a lot to take in it's, it's, yeah. it's a lot so you know that's kind of something i'm working on too that's a big curve for me because it's just like i'm always in the circles or in the right spaces or the right places but it's just like why am i still here right mm -hmm. so that's pretty much what my three top things are okay. because can i just say yeah. something real quick because that's even with like sometimes um being able to understand and I don't I'm trying to figure out when will we ever understand why well, I know myself like how am I doing the same you know something that the next person is doing like she said mm -hmm. and like they're like up here and you know I know it takes time for us to grow mm -hmm. but it's like do you know what we just did like mm -hmm. we just set up a hundred seats for you know what I'm saying within two hours or mm -hmm. maybe an hour and then you go throw like, look at my work, look at my work on the, you know, on the Instagram page. And it was like, oh yeah, you get that, those 15 likes, those 48 likes. She's like, but I could just post myself, you know, <laughs> taking a picture in the mirror. And yeah. that took no effort, you know what I'm saying? And I got a hundred likes, like people just kind of ride right past your hard work. And that's kind of frustrating at times, you know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? We're to the point I'm asking, did you see that? Did you see when we did that? They're like, oh yeah, I saw it. I'm like, well, did you like it? And they're like, yes, yeah, you know, it was cool. It was dope, you know, but are you going to like it? Like, go back, you know what I'm saying? That will give me, you know, the confidence to be like, all right, so we really did. We don't just think it's cool. You know, everybody else thinks it is as well. So mm -hmm. that's definitely something y'all get past. Um, I think I heard you some of this the other day as well, but are y'all uh, into male strippers? <laughs> oh, oh, I was talking about this. No, her. Oh, I want to say me. But okay, but since you said, are you into male strippers? Miss? I've never, but I don't think I would want somebody just shaking it in my face. First of all, I never said I was into them. <laughs> I didn't say that. Why you I speak never like said that? Guilty conscience. I didn't say that. You I said, said you we talked about it. The I other said day. you were speaking about it. No, like, I didn't say what she side said, of the fence you were on. She said, "Oh my God, I would never." I'm like, I mean, I've been to a few shows. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> it was never nothing where it was like, yeah, let me see that shit. Right. You know, put it in my cup. It was never nothing like Whoa. that. <laughs> it was more <laughs> so <laughs> like, <laughs> freak, freak, freak. <laughs> no, it was just like, okay, we went. It was funny. Like, it was entertaining to us. It's not something that I'm like, oh, no. But I also don't get turned on from it. It's not like a... You know, something that I'm go. People really go to those mm-hmm. parties for mm-hmm. pleasure. You know, I think that's it's weird. That's not me. It is weird, but it's also funny at the I, same time. But I watch Magic like, Mike. I think that's the closest <laughs> thing I'm gonna get to. It. Okay, so recently there's this is video going viral on social media, and it's a it's this new pain and sip things, where it's naked dude wow, walking no, around whatever. Much. And it's funny, right? Like a <laughs> month ago, my mom Lena told me about this. She said she wanted some pain and sip thing, <laughs> and some naked niggas walked out. And you had to paint them and shit, but I just didn't think. I was like, whatever. That just sound wild, whatever. I thought you meant like you know they paint on the canvas, just like paint with a twist, and then the people walking around. No, they're painting, painting the on the bodies. Um. Uh, well, they were like they were touching in the video. The little video I saw, they were like just touching. It was like a strip club mixed with painting. So <laughs> it was a lot going on. But as soon as I saw the oh, this shit, my mom from my months ago. This shit is wild. Where is Cause that? Because the video that went viral, they be traveling apparently. Wow. The video that went viral was had me boggled. Well, the nigga was literally dry humping the chick, and he was butt ass naked. I'm so like, she was painting him back. No, the paint was done at this point. Like okay. he was just fucking literally so dry. So at this her. time, it turned into a strip club. Yeah, and I wow. was, like, and of course the catch was like, "Yo, what do you do if you scroll in time? I saw this is your girl." Yo, I'm devastated. <laughs> you think she went to write the pain and sip like, oh yeah, we saw the girl. There's a fucking strip club too. Like, that's what did. I thought it was. I didn't know, you know, no it turned into that. Yeah, that's that's too much. So y'all want me into that? Too? I would to be into it. That's weird. I wouldn't be. Into I don't it, have anything against attended. it. Yeah. You would attend it. You would attend it. See me, I'm risky. But then, like, mm. I need to go and see what's going on. Here. But then, like, when you go to like those type of events, they make you like interact. Oh yeah. Like, and they your they pick the shoulder. ones who are very see timid me, and like. Don't come over here. And don't I'm come not over timid. here. I'm going to be walking around looking <laughs> and watching stuff. Mm-hmm. But oh, yeah. I, I have you, two dominant times? personality. Come here. Don't touch me. Two, oh, no. Come here. <laughs> two times. That. I don't want that. I don't want that. <laughs> <laughs> and then I know how to leave. Oh, you're going to leave abruptly? <laughs> I, I came. Leave. I saw. I'm I'm ca- I conquered. Goodbye. <laughs> I will take this drink with me. But yeah, I was and I was just like, dang, like, what did she do at a boyfriend? He saw his real on Twitter. Okay. Like. <laughs> I think that's a fair deal breaker. That's too much. I don't think it's yeah. a deal breaker. No. I don't think it's a deal breaker. What? But it's not a deal breaker. Could you act like she? I mean, so you girl said your butt ass dry hump. Dry- butt <laughs> ass dry hump. Like, but where you was at this point, not dry hump. Like, she was literally bent over. That's, like, see that? No, you didn't say that part. That's way too much. See, I'm and thinking he was because sometimes they can be weird and they'll just start dancing like true, on your leg true, or something. True, true. So that's yeah, why she literally was bent up, bent over, skirt was hiked up. Like, he, like I oh, thought they were so fucking he at up first. The skirt. See, that's beyond me. That's too much. Like, <laughs> I really thought they were fucking at first. I was like, oh, he just dry humping, I suppose. But yeah, that's I was too much. Yeah. She was like, yeah, it was a lot. And was, she was enjoying. She, like, was she was super into it. She was having fun. She just slipped some and painted. She's about to get painted. Um. A lot of women always talking about niggas ain't shit right. And niggas gotta do this and niggas gotta do that. Did they get his back, whatever. But me and each other had a conversation a long time ago, whatever, in general, we're talking about the rare phenomenon, beautiful moment when a woman has to win her king back. Mm. I don't remember that. Wow. You never heard no story like this, Shantae? And, when, and you can't see something ever trying to win your king back? <laughs> no king is worth winning back? <laughs> oh, I only have, like, literally one person. And I, probably, I don't the know. The high school crush? <laughs> I don't know what extent I would go to get them back. Because mm. me, I'm just like, I don't know. Another thing I'm trying to get, I'm too prideful. Really? Like, I can't. I can't. You got to get past that, queen. Hmm. You got to get past it. It's so hard. Are you? Like, when you argue. Because, like, guys come with so much pride, and it's like, you can't be that way. I can't be that way. Like, that's not fair. When you argue, are you, like, you can't admit you're wrong? Yeah, I can't admit that I'm wrong. Okay, so you're not that prideful. I can prideful. always call and say I'm wrong, but right But you're never wrong, though, I guess? No, like... 99% of the time, I'm right. Gotcha. All right. I see what's going on. But, right. <laughs> <laughs> but I can admit when I'm wrong. But when I'm in the moment of saying what I'm saying or talking about whatever's going on in that situation, right. that's right. it. That's right. all. All right. right. When we come back to it and I revisit and I had some time to <laughs> calm <laughs> <you> down. <laughs> I was definitely prior. Yeah, and I had some time to calm extra. down. <laughs> I'm going to be like, yeah, I was wrong. But you got hype, real hype when you oh. said bitch. And I just oh, I just, okay. <laughs> and I just had to go off. Like, it's trigger words with me. Like, you got to come. If you're talking to me like you have sense, I'll talk to you that way. Okay. But and if not, I have to apologize afterwards. And I don't see me doing that much chasing. A dude called you a bitch before? Um, like that you were talking to? 
I mean, not in a derogatory way. But a little casual. I mean, you know, we're hood, so mm -hmm. like, period. That that's my bitch. Gotcha. But you was mad, that, I suppose. Oh, no, no, no. That was just an example. Like the way, okay, I gotcha. That was just an example. And yeah, once time I called a girl a bitch, I regret it. Not because of what she, <laughs> not because of what she, that's what got me. Yeah, one time I called her a bitch. <laughs> she deserved it though, honestly. She really did. Oh my it was, gosh. She, wow. she truly did. What did she do? She sounded like a bitch. Like she really was tripping. I ain't answered those I told you before in the podcast. She was doing way too fucking much. She threw it through my motherfucking window. And huh. I was like, yo. Bitch, stop it. No, I was like, yo, put my fucking phone down. You don't want to fuck much, whatever. And then I like, I was like, that's how I really want. I like, yo, because you acting like I was like, <laughs> she's like, I'm like a what? I'm like a what? Say it, say it, say it. I yell like a fucking bitch. And she's like, <gasps> she wanted you to say it. Exactly. But I regretted it because afterwards it was just never the same. Literally, like it was just never the same. Yeah, in high, you know, in a moment I didn't realize, but in hindsight, I like, yeah, but you like, said you're that acting was like the a moment. bitch. You didn't call her a bitch. Right. Thank you for being my lawyer. I agree with that. Like, yeah, 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 like it's a good lawyer method. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, so I, you know, like, like I said, me and Nisha having general conversation about stuff we see on social media and stuff. And I'm like, yeah, like I love these stories about women winning their kings back. We don't get enough credit. Y'all be fucking up too, plenty of times. I mean, yeah, girls fuck up too. Like nobody yeah. ever said it's perfect. Right. Like, no, I mean, y'all be trying to act like I'm perfect. No, I don't. I dog definitely niggas don't act out. like I'm perfect. <laughs> yeah, like I dog my niggas out. That's what, what does that mean? <laughs> Even if you're like not up to par with my liking, I'm telling you what I don't like. Oh, okay. But I can't say every nigga ain't shit because every nigga ain't do shit to me. Mm. So it's, you know, no, you the one that came home late, nigga. Not Lamar from down the street. I don't know that nigga. <laughs> I know you. General question. What percent, you know, women, that's a common expression. Niggas ain't shit. What percentage, got little percentages <laughs> of hypotheticals, what percentage of men would you say aren't shit? Both of y'all. Damn. Because women say it a lot. So I, I don't, think, but of course like, it can't be a hundred percent. So but it, I, I don't even know what my percentage guys. would be because I don't think like that. Like, like mm. she said, like my situation is not the next person's situation. I'm not going to say like because I went through this with this person mm -hmm. that everybody is the same and they're not shit. And they're like I don't. Right. First of all, I don't feel like saying it. That's just mm -hmm. I don't care, you know. So uh, and we're. And if I do say it, it's more so on a joking, you know what I'm saying, on a joking right, tip. Nice. I'm like, niggas ain't shit, you know. But other than that, I'm never that, niggas ain't shit. I don't want this man. He's like, I'm not that person mm -hmm. at all. Like, you know. Well, for me, I was out looking in. Some, <laughs> some of the situations I've seen. Yeah, you know. I've been in college. <laughs> and All you've seen throughout your life. And the only thing I can say about... I would say 80% of niggas. Wow. wow. 80 is a lie. I've seen some shit, man. I did too, like, but you know I, what? I still don't look, look at them in my Here's what the number, signs, is, signs is falling. Give us a number. Come on. Yeah, the pillow, the pillow is the act of, yeah. All right. To be fair... We're going to do 50-50. Because sometimes females cannot be I'll shit take the 50. Either. I'll definitely take the like, 50. It's, it's, what you got, miss? What's the what name? percentage of men ain't shit? Come on. 75. Damn. That's wow. Wow. I mean, she gave him 5% less. Wow. What percentage do you think? That I and that's say your crew. For my creed. You know your crew. <laughs> my species. Only thing I'll say is I'll take the fifty percent. That's all I'm, I'm gonna say. I'm hollering, yeah. He know your ass. I take the plea deal. I take the plea. He know too. How about this? Um, in dating, whatever, would you say you will you will prefer, or you know what, how you want to phrase it, someone that's more like you or more unlike you? That's a, that's, that's a good question. Um, because some people say I want someone that's not like me to balance yeah, me. Yeah. Some people say no, I want somebody like me so we can match. Like. Because sometimes when you're too much alike, you're going to definitely fight. clash. Mm -hmm. And then when you're not alike at all, that's just yeah. never going to work out. Yeah. yeah. It's going to clash more than if you guys are alike, mm -hmm. you know. So I would definitely say a balance. A balance. If you had to pick one. You said like one, dynamic. let's say it's 60% leaning towards one way. Alike, not alike. I would have to say we have to be more alike. Yeah. Less I would like to be like me because I need somebody that's driven. Like, I can't be with nobody that's just like at home and then when I get there they're still at home like you gotta be like me like <laughs> we gotta be out all day to the point where we probably don't even see each other till it's time to go to sleep mm. like I need somebody like me um and then kind of not like me cause right I'm a little sensitive and I can't I can't imagine having a sensitive guy like a hairline women say that that are sensitive <laughs> yeah I'm and it's so weird how I am cause I literally am like literally like Eve in your face but literally freaking what pretty ricky in the bed like i'm yeah. cry baby like, i know girls like that yeah, yeah i don't i don't get it i don't get it like i'm a cry baby but i can literally take the punches and give them out but i think i would definitely need them to be more so kind of like me 
but they gotta be funny as hell too. Right. Are you funny? I'm funny as hell. <laughs> <laughs> I'm funny as hell. No more talking on this. No, I'm just like she said. You definitely gotta be. With me, I feel like. Well, see, that's the thing. I like we just can't be two totally different people. You know what I'm saying? Like, if you don't have a sense of humor, oh no, you're done. Because you know me, I joke all mm. day long. And mm. if you can't take my jokes, if because sometimes I can be a bit much. I'm like, wait, I was only playing. I need you to understand I'm a Pisces. Okay, cool. I need you to understand that I was just joking. Like, <laughs> even when you think I'm serious, yeah, I really was just joking. That's always my problem, though. Yeah, that you joke so, too much? No, like if I'm joking, people don't know. Yeah, that like, air if I'm saying so something, bad. they're just like. Then you got to explain yourself. But and I, I really was joking. And I'm just like, okay, well, then I guess we're not friends anymore. <laughs> 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 like, now, if, it's my if you friend, don't get me by yeah, that point, you're not my yeah, friend. Is, like, that, my friends know me. They're just like, oh, shut the hell up. Like, right. where are we going? Like, they just don't even pay me no mind. Hmm. Yeah, I don't ever have them. I've seen it happen with my mom and her friends. They're like, oh, that's kind of crazy. I don't, have, I don't think I've ever, have, ever had those situations. My thing, like, you know, like I said, I tell a lot of stories and stuff like that, whatever, sometimes. But she, she used to it now, whatever. You know, we've been together for a while now. Pockets are going for a while. Sometimes she says, I say a little bit too much. You know, a little bit too unfiltered. You know, so that'd be my thing, whatever. Um, let's say you guys are dating, right? You're in a talking stage. How long is too long? Because I'm, I'm starting to see a new narrative now where people say, yo, we don't need to talk to each other all day, all the time, constantly text or say what you're doing or talk on the phone, FaceTime. So how long is too long to go without no contact when it's like a new situation? At least a day, you can say hi. Like, like one, so past one day is an issue. Oh wait, you saying talking? Yeah, like we talking, talking terms. My fault. I'm sorry. Okay, it's talking terms. We on talking terms. Before we get to, I guess. You give me like three days. Three days? Yeah. And After, you? I mean, but you gotta at least check in on me. Hey, no, like, I ain't, ain't saying nothing. <laughs> I mean, if we just talking, like I probably won't even be texting you or calling you. So <laughs> like, if we do a we going link, gonna be link. But okay. if we go together, uh-huh. nigga, you got 10 minutes by the time you open your eyes. Wow. <laughs> like, oh, that's that's deep. Good morning. <laughs> <laughs> but if I'm just talking to you, I really don't care. Like, Okay. okay, so let's say it's past talking. Now it's like, this might, y'all ain't official yet, but it's, it's like your one off. It's, like, it's, the, it's the personal personal. That's what it's going to be yeah, one, got a, one day. Got a day? Or how much is it? A day? You don't even got a day. I'm, 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 I'm a panic. You know, oh, you uh, definitely I don't, don't have a day. Literally, I'm I'm sorry, I, I don't know where day. she's at for five hours and I'm like, <laughs> no, like dumb texting. So I need to know where my man is. Hmm. I mean, like, we, ain't, we ain't official yet, but it's Yeah, we're not official yet. I mean, well, you're still my man. Period. Okay, I've been seeing people say, yo, it ain't even been two days yet. I'm like, damn, two days? Word? Like, no contact at all? That seems extreme. Yeah, that's crazy. Because then let a girl go two days and not because, talk to you. Yeah, yeah. Right, because first of all, when you're in a talking stage of, you know, kind of <laughs> you working talk. your way into... <laughs> You know, a relationship, you're kind of, you should still be always working on getting to know each other. And, right. You know what I'm saying? See where the communication is. So for you to not talk to me one day and then. That's when it's Then still you fresh. get back to him and it's like, oh, I had a love day. What is this? <laughs> no, that's when it's still fresh when y'all on the phone, you find yourself doing all this weird stuff around the house. <laughs> for real, you start feeding the fish, you don't never feed the fish. <laughs> like, you just so happy. Like the memes. Yeah, because I will say that's one that I never, never really had an issue with. Like, because I'm like a pretty i guess like it's not really punctual but you know kind of punctual and like i know if someone texts me back whatever so like i never understood when people say yo like i ain't like when girls say niggas be going ghost for days i'd be like how or like they what do is that even mean because right. yeah. you're not about to just chill on your own yeah they're not mm-hmm. ghosts. you're not just chilling on your own. i just forgot about girls. you that you existed for a few days right so. yeah. <laughs> they just present so now i get it but that's what goes like i said i'm always an honest person yeah, I thought, I, yeah, I was doing whatever. Like, you know. right. I'll, I'll text you back, but if I don't, I'm, I may not be texting you back frequently that day. But I'll text you back. Yeah, what's up, man? I'm doing this. Right. How about this? How about this? So when y'all single, how open are y'all about what y'all doing? I'm like if a dude say, "Yo, what you doing last night?" You was on a date with another dude. You <laughs> yeah, say? I'm very open. <sighs> like I might even answer the phone on a date. Like, hey, I'm on a date. Wow. Can I call you back? Wow. <laughs> I'm gonna be honest, not me. <laughs> Because I feel like if you're not honest with them, it's just like, that's what they're going to say to you. I have a don't ask. Oh, yeah, but I don't care. That's the thing. Like, you're going to get this work. You think you're playing me. I'm out, too. What you doing? I have a don't ask, don't tell policy. I don't ask no questions. I, one, probably can't handle the 
possible truth to, mm-hmm. or that one want asked back to me. Exactly. So like, I when I when I was single, I don't ask you can do whatever the fuck you do. I don't give a fuck whatever. <laughs> like, don't ask me shit. Oh, but you if you do, you I'll answer. I'll say it. Like, you know? yeah, that's why I say you get an answer. You shouldn't ask. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And if I ask you, I need the same thing big. But if you lie, that's okay. I still told the truth. And so I'll be so so you, so you wouldn't care at all if someone said, yeah, you know, I was fucking a girl last night. I mean, I would still care because I'm a regular human being, depending <laughs> on the type of capacity we are in. But <laughs> the fact that you just told me you actually gained more stars than you lost. Okay. Because I'm going to find out any fucking way and okay. I'm going to beat your ass. Oh, all right. Cool. Because uh, you, you're my man. My man. I got you. Period. Yeah. Right. <laughs> <laughs> so it just pays to be truthful up front. Okay. So back to the first question I had. How do you like the dick in two times? Oh, my gosh. How do I? Like, what? Is there a specific <laughs> dick we're talking about? Like, like, like the dick that is your man. Period. Like, like, I don't have a man, so the, the dick, the hypothetical dick. Well, we'll speak about the dick of my business, and I'm definitely enjoying no, no, my no, business no, no, right no, now. No, 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 no. That high school crush dick that still look good. <laughs> so wait, what's the question? How do you like the dick? This is niche question. This is oh my god, not niche question. This is niche like, question. <laughs> This is a niche topic that you add to the list. Wow. I mean, it's great. That's my final answer. <laughs> I had to say it professionally. <laughs> niche, how do you answer your own question? Okay. First of all, that's never my question. That was your question. Oh, second of all, that's nobody's business. <laughs> no, if I had to answer it, she had to answer it. And it was your question, supposedly. It's your business. So it's you your question, so you got to answer it. Definitely from the back, and that's all y'all mm. get. <laughs> Talk happy queen. Position. Talk happy He's queen. Down. He's down. Are you from the back? You like a from the back girl, Miss Two Times. You from the back? I look like it. You like what? a from the back type girl. <laughs> I'm two times. I like two times from the back. <laughs> 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 I'm popular. You change the subject. I'm like quickly. Like people don't see me wow. like that. Wow. <laughs> yeah, I'm two times. Yeah, I'm like two times. Oh, how about this, right? Do y'all follow any Instagram chicks? What do you mean, like, mm-hmm. Instagram chicks? Bernice Burgos, Miracle Watts, mm-hmm. like, they literally just know for Instagram. I, I, no, I follow a few of them. Okay. You don't, you don't need? Mm-mm. Okay. So, I guess it pertains to the uh, Or, you know, you speak in general. It interests me when girls follow these girls. Like, I don't know if it's for some business related type thing, but yeah. most girls I know just follow them for, they, there's no business. Like, they just right. follow these girls. And I know men. We follow them because most of them are like, yo, I want to fuck this girl. Right. So I like looking at her. I'm like kind of visualizing, yo, I will fuck her. Oh, With girls, I'm like, so why are y'all following them? It really boggles my mind. I be seeing girls like, they, they don't want to like all the pictures and comments. Yeah, because they might actually, you know, some girls might look at them for, you know, their fashion sense, where they're getting their hair. Fashion? You know, you never know. Hair. They might want to look like, at like, them. And then like these girl. girls be having colds and fashion over, so they might want to have people. You never know. See, a man would never think about that. But yeah, I was following I'm like, they wearing like, clothes? Yeah, no, you get a promo code, nice and quick, from, you know, somebody. Interesting. So that might be the reason, or they might just, like, you know, idolize them and, like, like the way they, you know, want to be the way they are, something like that, attain that whatever presence she's given. But I've only followed some of them because of business purposes gotcha. and things of that sort. But um, one person I do follow that I feel like is an Instagram chick, but she's so lit and she's a rapper, too, that I follow, not pertaining to business, mm-hmm. Cash Doll. Definitely lit. Yeah. Definitely lit. She and she's yeah. like, yeah, she's somebody I will go for just to like look at. Okay. Hey sis, oh my god, look at this chocolate Barbie. Period. Not a lesbian, but I. But you would like looking at it. Women yeah. and this is our month, so shout out to my sis. That's interesting. Okay. <laughs> you got. So you like no, that stuff? Yeah, you know, you know what? Look, you want to know what's funny? Um, I think randomly I clicked on her page, and you know, just strolling through. You no, know, like, hmm, she's a bit extra for me, <laughs> but I feel like I like her. You know, based off of what she was given on her social media. I was like... Her confidence. Yeah, like, I'm like, I can... I, I, I can... That's somebody I can follow. You know, just not somebody that would irk me. At first, I thought you were talking about Dream Doll. Oh, no, no, no. Yeah, Dream Doll, she a bit... I, I'm all right. She a bit much for me. I can't. She bad, too. She's pretty good. That's all I have to say. Yeah, I'm just saying, but just her... Like, like, you know I follow saying? all like, of them. I actually don't. I don't follow no Instagram girls. Okay. I'm not into that. Oh, okay. If I come across on Explore page, I'm about to go cool. look through this followers today. I don't. I'm not into it. Screenshot, son. <laughs> um, I like to ask girls this uh, recently, girls, especially girls who are, like pursuing certain passions, or whatever. How do you like to be supported? You know, from from a spouse per se. Like uh, a lot of girls speak on like you know men not really holding up the end of the bargain relationship in certain ways, or whatever. You know, men are intimidated by working business boss bitches, da, 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 whatever. How would y'all like to be 
support it um, in general? How are you going to tackle that question? Well, I definitely have, like, the strongest level of support. Talk about your king. Real right. Mm-hmm. Um, seriously, like, everything from can you run and get this, can you run it? You know, we all the way in king of pressure and can you run down North Philly and get those cupcakes? Wow. Like, <laughs> I need one favorite And it's traffic is a car, car, car accident down there. It's like, what is it? Mm-hmm. I'm, can you please go get those cupcakes? You know, and then everything from just, you know, late runs to the store or, you know what I'm saying, putting away the stuff at the end of an event when it's, you know, late at night or just saying, oh, y'all dope. Like, honestly, there are a lot of people out there who are, like, far advanced. But to him, mm-hmm. nobody else is better than reinvented. Like, he's like, I don't care about what you're showing me. You know what I'm saying? Reinvent is it, and that's all. <laughs> you know, so. That's great. How that's about you, really- Miss? Because you know you said you're single, but, you know, in the past, or how you can see yourself in the future, what, you, what would you like? Um, what I would like in support is non-intimidation, because I have dealt with that before. Okay. Actually doing a lot and being around, like, rappers and stuff like that. Mm. It's not been too keen. Um, but... I think just fully supporting me would be just motivating me to do better. Like, if I do need you to make runs or do something like that, because I'll probably have my guy in there with a label maker, getting right to business, <laughs> typing up, making this logo, all that. But um, just somebody that, you know, understands what I'm doing, gets what I'm doing, and supports what I'm doing, and doesn't get upset because I'm sitting with Lil Wayne at the concert or something like that. Just, you know, just, I don't know. Full on motivation, and I think the way they can support me too is just by being on their shit too. That mm-hmm. would like support the hell out of me. Cause if I see you doing something, it's like, oh, all right, nigga, for real, we in it. Don't oh, be a bird and be like a motivation. Yeah, like are we racing? So yeah, I think that's yeah, that's it for me. All right, that's racing. Um, make can either one of you speak on like some like maybe some infamous, infamous, uh, some notable stories through your journey, or maybe some funny stories, some lessons you learned about some. Anything that happened in the past? <laughs> Any funny tales? No, you can go first. You can go funny stuff. <laughs> Nothing? I don't think I have, um... All right, so back to the dick, right? Yeah, so, no. uh, I'm going to holler at him. <laughs> he just really wants to talk about <laughs> no. that. Niche wants to. Niche wants to. No, I, like, I don't, I'm not understanding where you get this from. I just ate for a little timeline earlier today. So I can crush it up. You ain't let me know anything, you know, but... Any funny stories, these you do doing crazy ass people all the time and, do, and parties but and shit. You wanna know something? Drunk old heads and shit like. No, I will never forget. Um, I mean, it's not so, it, like we do, like almost every event. There's something that's funny, mm, so it's serious. not yeah. Like everything from like the bloopers and the fallings and the. I wish we was getting recorded right now, like. Mm-hmm. Um, getting cursed out <laughs> by the guests sometimes. I'll never forget. We asked this one lady, you know, hey, can you move over to the side so we can finish that right? It wasn't nowhere near the time to, for the event to start, but, you know, I surely just wanted to show up early. And she like, I don't got to move nowhere. Uh. I'm like, wow. Like, <laughs> wow. I got to be professional. I can't even argue back. Why, yeah, surely? I mean. like, <laughs> but other than that. Nothing for in all your PR travels, miss. Nothing comes to mind. I mean, who are some of your favorite, your, uh, some great people you've dealt with? Um, great people I've dealt with? Oh my gosh, I've dealt with a lot of great people. I think the, f- mm, I think the funniest moment was when I was at, damn, South by Southwest. And I was literally, like, designer was just performing on stage. She walked off and we, like, took a picture together. Like, he hugged me and all that good stuff, right? And I was so pissed, like, I was supposed to be happy about the picture, but I just had all this sweat on my shirt and my face. <laughs> so I'm like, what the hell? So I'm walking backstage, I'm mad and shit, like, just, like, upset. Next thing I know, I see Wale, he's smoking, and I'm just like, oh, I can smoke with you? Like, and we just started smoking, and I just thought that was so funny, because I'm like, he don't even know I had sweat on my face. Sweaty ass blunt, like. But I'm a smoking. Cause this is so decent, I can't believe I'm here. I should be in school right now. So I think that was like funny for me. But yeah, I don't know, cause I had a lot of funny moments. But that was one. Mm-hmm. And then when I was arguing with Joe Budden, I would never, ever, ever let that go. Why? Why, why was wrong? Why are you arguing with Joe Budden? Why was he arguing? <laughs> <laughs> so we were at South by Southwest or whatever, and um, I was working the ticketing table, cause I was actually working the festival. And he was, um, I was trying to like record a video with whatever with him. He was like. I hear her talk to his friend. He's like, oh, she's trying to get her followers up or something. 
I'm like, I'm sorry, are you still on Love & Hip Hop? Because I don't think you are. Wow. Like, And we just started arguing, like, but we were playing with nah. each other because I'm just like, I'm from Philly. I'm just in Texas. Like, mm. don't get it messed up. He was like, Shantae, Shantae, two times over here getting smart. <laughs> and we just, you know, made a little connection after that. But it was just like, I'm still from Philly, sir. Like, okay. don't. Talk heavy queen. <laughs> um, so you being, like I said, you know, you, you had a partner that was kind of, you know, intimidated by people was around at certain times, whatever, this and that, whatever. Would you ever mix business and pleasure? Or would you always stay away from that? See, me, I don't never know what I'm going to do because I don't know. I'm a tra- I don't have a type. I don't feel like I feel like I'm just attracted to whoever, you know, is like-minded like me or wants to grind like me or whatever the case may be. So I feel like I would. Uh-huh. But at the same time, I would know how to have it perfectly organized so that it's not a problem. Okay. So I would, like, that would be dope, like, to be, you know, doing a show with my husband and then I'm just, like, meet me in the bathroom. Like, that's amazing. Mm-hmm. Like, that's my life right yeah, there. That's fine. I guess, exactly, right? <laughs> and then we just coming out fixing our clothes and then go fix the shit on the tables. Mm-hmm. This is a win-win. That's fine. I got some celebrity crushes. Chief Keith. That's my baby daddy. Wow. Wow. He got kids. That's cool. He does like it. Hey, you can take one more. Exactly. So they can take one more. Okay, Chief Keith, that is very interesting. The girls, you know, uh, most 99, we talked about percentages earlier, 99% of girls, they will have an ugly ass celebrity crush. So it's like, I, I respect it's, it's something that. about the the street guy, I don't know, that I always get. Okay. Nish, you got something? Know. You would risk it all for your, you, for your king? You know, you asked me this before. I kind of was like, mm, no. Nobody. Your king is just no. all. No, people. it's not even that. It's just You're like no Morris like. Chestnut, no Denzel no. Washington. No. I mean, they're they you know they're nice looking, but I'm not like oh my god, no, no, no. Uh, you know that's just no, you know what I mean. I did tell you I like the guy from um, what is it uh, uh um, straight out of Compton. The fu- easy, easy. easy. <laughs> oh, you did say that. Her, so that's her crush. That's funny that's as shit. Key. He's not a crush, but if, you know, since we on the time. He's your crush now. He's your crush. Yeah, yeah. It's official. It's official. <laughs> so speaking of easy E and costumes, right? Would y'all be into role play? <laughs> or have you? I mean, I don't want to be easy E, but <laughs> yes, not at all. That would be interesting. I mean, I probably wouldn't be against that. <laughs> I mean, yeah, it's a possibility, and it just it depends cool. on what role yeah, I'm playing. Not... Mm. I would definitely be into it. Cause I don't want to do no Star Wars shit. I don't want to do no. We doing Star Wars? Yeah, like don't have me on no weird shit. Like, <laughs> <laughs> like I'll get like. Alright, so miss two times. We have a deadline. We gotta meet. <laughs> you gotta do this. <laughs> da, 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 da. This whole shit gonna be said. Oh yeah. Oh, I like that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right. But you said like role playing, role not playing. necessarily like being a character. Yeah. Like I'm. Not about to dress up like I'm on Black Panther, but I'm you crying. know, but I could be a little officer or something. <laughs> yeah, like something cute. Like, <laughs> like what if a nigga just was like be a fry cook? Like I just like what? Chick Fil A fry cook though. Uh, yeah. No. Hibachi? <laughs> <laughs> huh? All I'm gonna do if it's Chick Fil A, I'm just gonna say um, what they say at the end. My pleasure. <laughs> That's it. My pleasure. Yes. Great customer service. <laughs> um, what did you say earlier? You said uh. You have to get a segue. Hold what? on, gonna come back. It's okay. You was talking about people you met, da 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 da, petty stuff. Hmm. But anyway, I don't forget. But yeah, I never done role playing. But I've always, not always thought about, thought about it was presented to me. What role would you want to play? Hmm, that's a good question. <laughs> You give me Malcolm X vibes. Malcolm X vibes? Oh, that <laughs> might be kind of fire, boy. <laughs> I'm like, wait a minute, this is too serious. I'm, I'm no, I might be interested. I might be interested. Like, really getting like, let's look up a quick speech. Real quick, let's summarize, paraphrase it. Yeah, really getting my bag. Like, yeah, and like, really like, getting like, 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 and after you promote the Vader, it's definitely different. Stuff, and I can't even say I will be against the stuff. So I can't say I will be against Star Wars. I can't say that. I don't think I will be See against me? it. I would. <laughs> I'd be like, wait, pause. Yeah. Exactly. What's happening? You got me in here with light up sticks and stuff. Like, what is this? 
Um, where uh, is there anything you guys weren't able to do a couple years ago that you are able to do now? And is there anything you plan to be able to do in the next couple years? Any plateaus? They go, oh, I can do this now. Um, I would definitely like to say, as far as uh, taking on, not that we haven't done it before, but to comfortably be able to take on more than one event at a time. Hmm. Cause yeah, it, we've done it before. We've gotten like it done. Like the same day. And the same day. Wow. Oh, yeah. We've gotten it done, but that also comes with a strong team. And you know what I'm saying? We've gotten it done before, but to be able to do that comfortably where it's kind of like, oh, yeah, we have two openings for that day. You know what I'm saying? And then just your creativity, you know, when you some when you look at other people and how advanced they are and like, wow, I can't wait to be able to do that one day, you know, or be able to or, you know, being able to have more than one platform where we even and not just decorate. You know what I'm mm. saying? Like. We got. We definitely have some things in store, like to offer, and you know, it's not just oh, we do parties and we decorate, but we also sell this. You also can come and have this. You know what I'm saying? So, hmm. how about you, Miss? Anything you weren't able to do before, but you can now? Something you might want to do in the future that you can't now. Something I wasn't able to do before was um, shit. To me, nothing. Um. I guess I would say travel as much as I wanted to. Mm -hmm. I'm able to do that a little bit more um, frequently. Um, something that I'm not able to do now that I want to be able to do is basically similar to what she said. Um, doing multiple events at multiple like occasions all in one day. Because gotcha. I'm actually trying to fulfill the two times the service momentum. So if I can have two events going on at one time and then move it to four, then that'll be amazing for me. But um, that's a huge job. Oh yeah, mm -hmm. that's what that's I'm right. definitely two trying to do. I'm mm -hmm. trying to do. You didn't even say one and two. two yeah. Mm -hmm. two. Literally, and like the last, what <laughs> I want to say, four months, I've done six events back to back. Like we just had one like three weeks ago. I dropped another one. Like I'm not trying to like let up at all because when you let up, that's when you let somebody else in. You mm -hmm. gotta keep going. Um, but yeah, that's for me. That's what I want to do. Like basically, just expand myself a little bit more because that's not something I was able to do then but I am able to do that now based on the platform that I have now and all the work that I've done before so okay mm -hmm. um I, I just remember the segue when you said type would you guys when you said you don't have a type would you say you have a type niche or no no I was thinking that recently where I think like that whole thing might just be a myth. I don't think anybody's a type. I think, yeah. I think it's really just case by case in the moment. Yeah. Right. I mean, some, some people, people might do. have the same yeah. features or something. I was about to say, some like people find things. themselves, you know, dating or being interested in like almost the same person. Like you said, the way that they look, mm -hmm. maybe the way that they act, they talk, they dress, but mm -hmm. I don't really have a type. Just whatever's for me at the time. It's for me. Especially women. Yeah. Women definitely don't have a type. At all. I'll be with anything. Like, if I'm in an eating phase, <laughs> I need to say hi. It was so hard. I thought it was on game. <laughs> <laughs> y'all be with anybody like like y'all look at dude y'all with five years old too with now it's like them niggas don't like yeah but that's not anything that I'm just means I, just, I meant anything as person, you like, might have been in a different space at that time right. like I could have been dating a rock star because I was going through depression and I could have been dating <laughs> freaking Idris Alba because I felt like a movie star like oh, you know wow. shit's different it's levels to it I have a theory why you know people that know me know my I be low key hating my Idris Alba He's decent. Childhood like Idris. you can speak like regular and like British. And I mean, I can learn the accent too. And he raps. I didn't even know that. He can't rap. He has music videos. He, can't oh, he has music videos. Oh, he's trash. It's cool. It's okay. He's <laughs> trash, but it's like what? I can rap. You look at all his views and stuff. They don't think he's trash. I can rap too. My one of And he has a show on Netflix. It's That's cool. really decent. That's what's up. Nice little mini series. I think that he actually wrote. I can write. He just I'll it out. He just I'll it out. I was about to say, crazy. where the accent at? Let me hear the accent. <laughs> I need to hear these raps tomorrow. Give me some time. I need to hear the accent now. What's the next short film? <laughs> <laughs> um, what was it? Um, I think that's it. Yeah, I think that's it. Yeah. 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 That's actually so good. I say blah, blah, blah. Uh, what the fuck was I um, Oh, how would y'all feel if your spouse came to sit? Like, you know, because someone told me, like, yo, like, I don't feel if you're in a relationship, you have a crush on somebody else, necessarily, like, a bad thing. Like, it's natural. 
And I was like, I don't think anybody can tell their significant other I have a crush on somebody. And it's going to be cool. Wait, like, you don't mean... Don't tell them that. You, you mean like a, crush. a real person? Or you yeah, a real person. Like someone they... Like, like not a celebrity yeah, or someone they know. A real person. That's what? That's like... <laughs> That's Honestly, kind of. Mm, that's like cheating. mind cheating. Mm. That's like mind cheating. Like you know darn well that's not okay. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But you can't help it, like so you just got this crush. Know, I feel like people have done it before and they do it now, mm. but I don't feel like they voice it. Like right. I feel like if they like somebody, they, it's in their head. Like like. You can and be at the like, party with your boyfriend or something, and you looking at his friend like, damn, the way he got them sweatpants on. Mm-hmm. Like, it's that type of But if that's in your head, then okay, you're going to keep it there, but I don't think that you yeah, should Yeah, if you bring it, it out, like then you, you want to be bringing something else out. Exactly. Problems. Thoughts become things type theory. Period. You speak it into existence. So, you just, yeah. so if your significant other says it, is it a deal breaker? If he says it out his mouth, it's going to be some type of breaker because it's like now I got to look at this person because you never know who it might be. It might be a friend. It might be somebody that you work with. Like, you never right, know. Right, I have a crush because so eventually like that, uh-huh. I just, like you eventually crushes turn into you know, more because if you're just somebody that I feel like okay, you have a crush on this person who at your job or mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying? Like, you're going to keep on crushing and crushing and crushing. And then what's Until the next step? Smash. Exactly. <laughs> so, crush or smash? That's, that's, crush that's and smash. not a. And you're not about that's to tell me that you got a crush on somebody because once you tell me that, you're no longer a man to me. You are my best friend. Hey, how you doing, sis? I thought I was your man, period, though. Mm-mm, nope, unperiod. Take it away from <laughs> <Period. laughs> Unfinished sentence. Underscore? <laughs> yeah, underscore <laughs> flatline. Uh, how are we looking at this game? Go Batama or what's the time? No, no, not letting. No, no, okay, cool. Um, ready for some speed round questions? See where your head is at. Oh, gosh. Some just some random. It's the way about no more dick. <laughs> it's getting edited. Oh, wow. It's just okay. nice and raw. All right, yeah, yeah. Like this dick that we're about to talk what? about. <laughs> <laughs> that paper. Like, not again, yeah, because that paper just price. And then you dick. be blaming everything on can me. I keep like, I'm never once. So I can see if it just says okay. dick. I don't even know if well, it's Well, to be funny, it is. I don't even know. Like, do it just say that one word? <laughs> okay, no. This I forgot to bring this up. I almost forgot. Quick, or it's a yes or no question. Do y'all like dick pics? No. no. All right. Period. Moving on. I mean, I don't. Oh. Uh. No, I'm saying no, 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 no. I'm saying like it's not like I've seen people really overreact to a dick mm-hmm. pic. Like it's really not that deep. Mm-hmm. But do you not? You know, you don't have to like it. That shit is ugly. But it's kind of like, like don't send that to my phone. Yeah, don't. But I people like seeing oh certain God, animals at like, the aquarium. What? That's what it looked like. <laughs> like the aquarium. I don't know what kind of dick pics. <laughs> <laughs> like a you ugh, so. But. <laughs> That's okay, bro, I like this. Like them. So, Dre was talking about this earlier. So, quick yes or no question. Is this guy crazy? No. Okay. So I heard it, and I was just kind of like... So, oh, wait, she... Uh, a girl was talking to a guy for over a year. You know, wasn't official, but they were talking, probably fucking, whatever. You know, talking. It ended, because she wasn't really into him. He's kind of too nice for her, that not, right? Mm-hmm. Over the next two years... Anytime she ever asked for anything, he said, yeah, give me some money for this, pay my phone bill here, this and that, whatever, bring me some money here, pay for my brakes, this and that. One time she asked for $1,300, gave it to her, whatever. She's like, oh, just come over and do this for me, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> I want to say crazy. I'd say now. Is he crazy? Is he crazy? But you use him I was saying, because she, she was like, yo, I think he might be kind of unstable because he's a little bit too, he too, is, of course he's dumb, he's no, sad, using the wrong is he word? crazy? She said, she said, is he obsessed? Obsessed. That's what she said. Now and he's I was crazy, like, but he's not. Oh, I don't see okay. him looking. So have you ever seen being you upset. on Netflix? Of course. That's what's going to happen to her. And she that's why I said, I'm like, that nigga's like a nigga you. that's possibly Period. able to snap one day. Like, I haven't seen say, you. Bitch, I done bought this. Right. Hey, you want to see my account? He going to lock her right in the box. And we were talking to girls. And he's like, what you mean? I can call a nigga right now. He was, I'm like, yes, it's one thing to be able to call a nigga from a couple years ago and do something for you. But to do it consistently for two years, yeah. I don't know no nigga that's doing he that. Wants that's something. sane. He like. wants something, right? Either he understands, he might kill and, himself and, and, or And supposedly, they never fucked these last two years. Lies, supposedly. Lies. Lies. So either that's a lie or he's just fucking crazy. So he could be crazy. Mm-hmm. But I'm not gonna call. Well, he is crazy. I mean, I guess that's crazy. That's not your girl. Yeah. They don't live near each other. I mean, that's clearly it. you're being taken advantage of. Right. And he knows it, so that's even crazier. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That's some you shit. 
Shout out to you. Yeah, watch that movie, sis. Um, what's y'all? <laughs> what's uh? Question time. More questions. Uh, number one place in the world you want to visit that you haven't visited yet? Everywhere. London <laughs> and Amsterdam. Okay. Besides everywhere in anything specific? I don't, I don't really, you know, because I didn't, I just kind of started, like, really traveling, traveling. I don't mm -hmm. really have too many places where I would say I have to go there. Kind of whatever comes my way. I'm like, all right, all right, let's try it out. And I'm not a big, long flight person. So all of that Paris, <laughs> all, person, you know, I, I don't know how I can do it. So it kind of turns me off from really wanting to go somewhere where you only see the waters and the trees, no houses and nothing. Mm -hmm. you know? I'm kind of like, I mean, it, it looks pretty. Cool. Why would I have 100 Alex? Like, cool. <laughs> oh <my God. laughs> um, if you had 24 hours to live starting when this episode ends, what would you do? Spend it with... 24 hours is not a long time. 24 hours? I'm calling up everybody. I don't care if you got work tomorrow. We having a party. Mm -hmm. We I'm get lit. And what time is it right now? About to be 9.30. 9.30. We just gonna party till 9.30. Okay. You missed? Yeah, basically that too. I would, I would want to do so much. Oh my gosh. <laughs> For real, like, I would I, I want to do so much, I end up doing nothing. I'm just so good. <laughs> Seriously, like, like, everybody, like, I would definitely want to do something right. like that. For real, I would definitely want to do something like that. But by the time that's done, it's going to be like 8 o'clock. I go ahead time. I want to go talk to Bill Cosby. I want to go figure out what we're going to do. No, real rap. And like, your last day? <laughs> in my last day. Seriously, because I really feel like that was like some crazy conspiracy stuff. Oh, and I man. I wish we had brought take. this up in the beginning of the episode. <laughs> and I want to know what me. And I grew up watching Bill Cosby, so it's sad in me, you know, when they put him away. So that was be something that I want to do. Okay. And, um... Probably just literally pray. Like, that would be the last thing I do. After I'm done turning up and talking to Bill Cosby, I'm going to pray. Okay. Wow, um, that's a lot. 24 hours. <laughs> I'm going to get it done. Because it's going to already take you about 20 hours First to of all, the they got to already be at the party doing the party. So by the time I come see Bill Cosby, I'm going to call my Uber. It's connecting Ubers. So I'm going to come right. from there to there. Party with them. Shake it up a little bit. Pray. Go upstairs, pray. Come back downstairs, shake it up some more. And then that's it. Pass that's right cool. there. Bill Cosby might even come to the party. Right. That's what I was kind of thinking. Period. Right. You know. Everybody know. I mean, if you can do whatever you want <laughs> for the 24 hours. I'm going to be like, yo, let Bill him Cosby up. out, please. Let him get a pass. Oh, we can't do that everyone. Can we get a genie in this? Oh yeah, if I'm regular, then I don't get a pass. We get a kickback, bring the backwoods, get the weed. We finna turn up. My mom about to turn on comedy show, call it a night. Yeah, we would. Yeah, if I'm a regular person, but if I had a genie in a bottle, gotcha. Yeah. Um, you had a billion dollars. What is the first luxurious thing you're doing for yourself? Buying yourself. Luxurious thing. Not business wise. Yeah, I'm a luxurious stunt, nigga. I'm about luxurious is um space for my business. No. Why? You got a stunt. Yeah, that's stunting. Ignorant. That's stunting. Ignorant. See, like to me, exactly. That's stunting. Fuck all that. All ignorant. I can think about is how dope my, my workspace would be. I'm going to buy an island. Respect. That's real ignorant. With a boat. I like it. Uh, yeah. I would have to get <laughs> this super crazy, like, mall size house. Okay. Uh, <laughs> that includes bedrooms for everybody that, you know. Supported Exactly. And that I always want to live with. But like, don't want to live with. So they can you know be a different kind of panel. Yeah, so like so come crazy. out, come to the living room. But then when we met, go to your room. You know, all that kind go of stuff. Go to your section, your go quarters. To, exactly. Okay. Yeah. Um, if you could have dinner with any two people ever, dead or alive, dead and alive, and one dead, one alive, who would it be? Monica. Okay, Monica's alive. Monica's alive. Um, somebody dead. Oh. Mm. You got me one person. It'd it be a group. You got a couple of you with them. Alive, Michelle, and Barack Obama. Okay. Um, Beyonce and Jay Z got to be there too. Okay, you would have a whole. Um, for real, we have a brunch. Buffet. <laughs> <laughs> and then, um, someone deceased. I would have to say my grandmother. I would want to have to definitely. See, I ain't know we was talking about yeah. regular people, but I definitely Anybody. bring Jenny back. Okay, cool. Yeah. Um, wait, da 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 da. da. If you let like, you know, speaking to the future put it out in the atmosphere you eventually win a lifetime achievement award for everything you you know plan to do and achieve in your career path lane all that stuff mm -hmm. you have to get the speech what would the speech be like is it going to be written freestyle emotional motivational cocky bringing people on stage <laughs> up there by yourself how would it be paint the scene well, I would probably be all of it. right that's what i was about to say it had to be all of it. it's definitely going to be, be written 
I mean, I would, because yeah. I'm not really a big... Don't like, freeze, don't fold. I'm folding now, but... <laughs> <laughs> definitely was folding, but... I would definitely think about it. Let me... I don't even know if I'm going to win, but I'm de- I'm going to prep for it. No, you won't yet. It's oh, a lifetime No, I'm, I know, but I'm saying, like... Okay, yeah, you're mm-hmm. right. I'm sorry. So, yeah, I'm writing it. I'm typing it up. <laughs> throwing it in the trash. I'm going over. Keep it going. You know. You know, because I feel like if over. I write it, I'm going to make myself more nervous trying to stay on point with the words and read it. Mm-hmm. I'm just going to get a real world. I'm going to get something a little fancy. Look down on it. I might even up there. never know if I'm going to cry. I mean, if I, I win that right award, I need a podium. I'm hollering. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, give me a screen. <laughs> Put it like, in the like, TV, like, like a state <laughs> yes. of the union. Um, all the money in the world, all the knowledge. Mm. All the knowledge. Mm. Missed two times. All the money in the world, all the knowledge. Um, I'll take all the money in the world because I can go to school with using that money and get knowledge so I can have both things. Okay. Um, would you rather uh, discover something great and share or discover something evil and prevent it? Discover something great and share because these mother lovers got the <laughs> cure to cancer and they ain't trying to give it to <laughs> nobody. And that's shady. Mm. Yes. I would say the same because I feel like it's always going to be evil regardless of how you try to prevent it. So... If I can just kind of stay away from what I feel like is evil, mm-hmm. then I will stick with what was it? Evil prevented. No, I'm saying what was the other one? Great and Sherry. Yeah. Okay, cool. Great and Sherry. Have you guys ever seen the movie 16 Blocks? Mm-hmm. I haven't. Okay, no, doesn't matter. So, <laughs> it, picture this scenario Philly's about to blow the fuck up. <laughs> but you can get in a car that can get you across the bridge to safety. Only, only two people can be on this car. Don't say someone get on top of it. Grab the end. Only two people can be in this car, including yourself, if you if you would choose to go. At the what? bus, at the bus on the curb with you is you, the love of your life, a little kid that you don't know, and your best friend who saved your life before. Who's getting in the car, and who's staying to die? Wait, say that one more time. A kid. A kid. The, the love, love of your life, life. Your best friend who saved your life, and then of course you. So is the kid my kid? No, just a random kid. So you gonna leave my kid out of it? You don't no. got a kid here. He don't He's okay. safe already. <laughs> <laughs> or you don't got a kid. You don't got a kid. Don't it's kid. anybody's All right. So I'm going to definitely, um, I'm going to have to go with um, my best friend. She saved my mm. life before. She she really, not to say that, you know, not all get deep in my life. <laughs> not to say that, you know, my king wouldn't make sure, because he's definitely my protector. Mm-hmm. However, my best friend has always been there. I'm talking about from sixth grade. Mm-hmm. So... And we, I never had to question any of that. So if you saved me before, you just proved it. Yeah, Get in this car. Him. We gotta go. You gonna leave your king behind? Wow. See me? Don't don't do that. Wow. Don't hype it up. <laughs> don't hype it up. What, what'd you have for? <laughs> Honestly, so the kid is cut out the equation. It's up to you. No, I don't know that kid. I'm sorry. <laughs> right. See, I would. Ha- mm, man, damn. See, this is how I know I'm too nice. All right. I would have to honestly save my best friend. Um, damn. And probably the child. Mm-hmm. And you stay with your king. And I stay with him, and we got to throw that shit out. Like, I rather them live because I couldn't live with myself knowing I left them there. And supposedly, that is the correct answer to the scenario. Right? Supposedly. Because if we die down out. together, we can freaking have it. <laughs> I'm out. I'm out. <laughs> I, I mean, can't see myself killing Two times, deuces. But, I'm but, out. Just, I but just imagine it. pulling off and you just like looking back and you see when a little you kid crying. Game, I, I definitely can't. love you. So, you know. A that word. was just a scenario. That was just a movie. Like, I don't even know this kid. You're going to leave me here. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I'm out. 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 Yeah, i am out yeah 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 i
Like I said before, we specialize in publicist work, creative direction, even planning, coordination, logos, basically anything you need for your one-stop shop to get two times as hard as your regular person's service. Mm. Thank you, ladies. Ryan Kilow, talk about it. We out. <laughs>